Like the fact that I will love you till I die We are twelve billion light years from the edge That's a guess No one can ever say it's true But I know that I will always be with you I'm warm by the fire of your love every day So don't call me a liar Just believe everything that I say There are six billion people in the world More or less And it makes me feel quite small But you're the one I love In 1891, Fred and I took to bicycling and our lives were greatly enlarged thereby. The so-called safety bicycle attracted my husband more than the penny farthing had and the drop frame adapted to it to the skirted sex. By means of these machines, we were able in 10 minutes to leave Manchester behind and we scoured the Cheshire and Derbyshire lanes within a radius of 20 miles. There was only one other woman in our part of Manchester who took to bicycling in the same year and I was frowned on by some of the college ladies until royal ladies took to riding around a London park and I was suddenly in fashion. Near Manchester the boisterous mill hands would pay pranks on me, linking arms across the road to upset me. The only way to cope with this was to avoid looking at them and putting down my head, charging full tilt when they would scatter. In London, bus drivers were not above flicking at me with the whip, and cabmen thought it was fun to converge upon me from behind. I was once pulled off by my skirt in a Notting Hill slum, and felt a bit scared till a bright idea struck me. I said to this loutish lad who had seized my handlebar, I say, they seem rather a rough lot here. I wonder whether you would kindly help me out. He instantly clutched my arm with his hand and bustled along with great dignity, shouting, Now then, make room for the lady, can't you? He saw me through and helped me to remount with the recommended, Away, quick! And I did. My long skirt was a nuisance and even a danger. It is an unpleasant experience to be hurled on some stone sets and find that one skirt has been so tightly wound round the pedal that one cannot even get up enough to unwind it. But I never had the courage to ride in breeches except at night. Then, oh then, I sang jubilantly. What glorious rapture to be a he-man. I think it, it's quite funny when someone like Pat McQuaid says, oh, you know, women's cycling hasn't progressed to the level of a minimum wage. Well, why hasn't it? That's his job, to make sure it does. You know, if we hold up half the sky and we are, where's our half of the road right now? This is where we need everything to come together and bring the next level up. Oh.